Hello, so I'm here with Monica Garcia, board member, District 2. So I'm, I'm going to ask her some questions about the board member. So what took you to be a board member? Well, it's so fabulous to represent young people. I love that I could read and write. I would love that my parents and my uh, sister and all my community partners really pushed me to be the best Monica I could be. And then when I graduated from UC Berkeley and I had already participated in after school programs like student council, youth in government, uh, Southwest voter registering people to vote. I just was a big old metiche and I loved helping my community and helping people so what do you th what do you what are some tips that you would give to like for example elementary kids or whoever absolutely so we have the class the seniors who are 2026 no 2016 graduating this year and our kindergarteners who are 2028 and what I say to all of them is work hard believe in yourself do the best you can every single day and always ask for help because it is such a strength to be able to say to somebody, hey, how do you do that? I want to get better at it. And what do you think um, about like now the schools, how are, like, what do you think how are they doing or stuff? Great question. So I've been on the board now 10 years. So how old are you? So all of my life, I've been working for you to get to graduation. And schools, we're doing better. We have more community partners. We have a lot of great teachers and principals. But we have to work to even be better. So we have to make sure that every child gets to graduation and every parent knows that they are supported. So thank you. My name is Ken Martinez. I'm the proud principal of Ramon C. Cortinas School of Visual and Performing Arts. We're also known as Grand Arts. We are the high school anchored at the north end of the Grand Avenue Court Arts and Cultural Corridor. We have a dual mission school. We uh, provide a rigorous curriculum in both the arts and instruction for students who are in the local area, the Belmont Zone of Choice, as well as district-wide. The only thing we require of our students is to have a passion for the arts. Hola, estoy con Marcela Navarrete. Y ellas, y, y tengo una pregunta para usted. ¿Cómo se siente hacer um, entrevista a gente, pero usted es latina? ¿Cómo se siente? Bueno, es un gran reto, pero me da mucho gusto que veo que hay más mujeres y que no voy a ser la única en California, en la, la única en Los Ángeles como mujer latina, sino ya puedo ver que hay dos más que me van siguiendo y, y es muy difícil, pero no, es, no quiere decir que no se puede. Y lo más importante es perseguir tu sueño y, y no, no detenerte hasta que lo logres. ¿Okay? Um, es un honor entrevistarla como um, camarera y como, um, como yo o si quiero ser camarera o camarógrafa, camarógrafa uh -huh. o, o video journalist <laughs> um, que me um, dijera a mí para que yo pueda cumplir mis sueños como usted lo primero que todo tienes que tenerle quitarle el, ten, eh, quitarte el miedo al micrófono Número uno, el micrófono es tu arma, ¿sí? si la sabes usar te va a ayudar, no le debes de tener miedo a la cama, al, al micrófono, no le debes tener miedo al que entrevistas, siempre tienes que mirarlo en los ojos y acercarte a él para que te formes una, una relación, te recomiendo que persigas la noticia, no porque seas mujer, si no encontraste, si encuentras la puerta cerrada, no quiere decir que como mujer no vas a correr por la puerta de atrás y vas a tratar de cazar a tu entrevistado. La cacería de noticias es una de las cosas más emocionantes. ¿Ok? ¿Qué inspires you the most? Inspires me the most. Probably Mr. Yaw. No, really, people, ever since ninth grade, when I first met him, people asked me, uh, who's your number one influence in school. And I would say Mr. Young because he's somebody that I really relate to, that you know, we find similar interests and 
he's not just a teacher to me, he's a really close friend. So. Are you excited to go to the White House? And what is the most exciting thing? Mm. I am excited to go to the White House. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm seeing the greatest minds in science at the White House Science Fair. That's exciting. Mm. The other most exciting thing, like about what? The most exciting thing right. that's happening? No, like, what's the exciting thing that you'll see over there, or what are you doing? Well, I'm just looking forward to seeing all the great projects that they have there. Um, I had, I did a research project last semester in school, and I'm looking forward to seeing what other students came up with and what they did. You know, days after school, I'd study with my friends, or help, you know, not just my friends, the whole class study. And Yang would put me in a group and he was being the leader and I try to help the other kids and teach them just like how Yang was teaching me. Well at first I didn't have a reaction and nobody knows how to feel when you're recognized at you know, that level. But then as soon as it hit me I knew that you know this is something not just for me to be proud of but for my whole community and I'd like to thank all of them for helping me make this have this achievement. LAUSD family, Lincoln High School senior Cedric Argenta first learned that he had earned a perfect score, perfect score I say, on the advanced placement calculus test when he was called to the principal's office and was handed a letter from the college board congratulating him for his outstanding accomplishment. Cedric even received a special tweet from President Obama telling him, way to go on your perfect score. Yes. Cedric's also been invited to the White House for, to attend the White House Science Fair um, as well. I had the pleasure of meeting Cedric and his principal and his teacher uh, on my visit to Lincoln High School last week, and I have to say that he is truly such an humble young man, um, and it was an incredible opportunity to visit the school and to see the amazing things happening. Cedric took two AP classes last year and is taking four more this year, including the next calculus course. He also earned perfect scores on both the math and English portions of the ACT college entrance exam. Amazing. His goal is to get a scholarship to Caltech and eventually work at NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Along with the Board of Education, we are here today to celebrate Cedric's fantastic achievements. Let us all give him a round of applause and his parents. I'm going to ask Cedric to say a few words and then I would like to make a few comments about his teacher and principal. Cedric. First of all, Thank you, board members and Superintendent King, for inviting me to speak here. It's an honor. Um, I really wish my friends were here, all the friends that were in my class with me. It was a team effort for us to all pass the exam. It wasn't just me that got this perfect score. All my friends worked together to do this, so I'd like to recognize them, too. Um, I was uh, thinking about what to say before I came up here, and I just want to thank you guys. I've been part of LAUSD since elementary school, first grade, preschool. And I grew up in neighborhood schools and I'm just one small example of the great things that you guys do. So thank you all. to recognize that this accomplishment goes beyond a single score and is the result of years of sacrifice and hard work, not only by Cedric, but his math teacher, Mr. Anthony Young, who is also joining us today. Yeah. 
Brown establishes a personal connection of trust and belief with his students and allows them to succeed. He tutors them after school and on weekends so that they are able to master these advanced concepts. This accomplishment that you guys call was really a team result. And when I say team, I'm not talking about my students and myself. I'm talking about, number one, the parents uh, who would drive the kids to school on weekends, holidays, so that we could have an extra session. Number two, my school, my admin team, who will constantly ask me if there's any resources within their power could, to have us better perform. And lastly, the community members. When school couldn't uh, open the classroom because they were busy proctoring SAT exams, um, it was the community members that stepped us, stepped out, and and um, tell me that they, they're, it's more than welcome for us to come into their buildings when it was scorching hot days. They will even turn the AC for us on on Sundays. Uh, so. I just really wanted to let you guys know that it was a team effort. While it's really great to get this attention, um, there are more than 30,000 teachers just in LAUSD. And I just want you guys to know that there are full of teachers out there who goes extra mile and who puts more time and effort than myself. So I just wish that you guys, each school could take time to acknowledge the teachers. I do appreciate what you said about how there are thousands of teachers here in LA Unified that are also working really hard. And I really mean that. I don't doubt that at all. And so I just wanted to let you know that I heard that. And I hope other people hear it as well. I believe that math is the easiest subject in the world to learn. But it's the most difficult to teach. Because you have to connect to the student and wait for that aha moment. And if you didn't give it to you, you have to press for it. And I believe that's what you do. I heard you on the radio. You say you're not a public speaker. Get used to it. You'll have to become one. <laughs> and another thing you said that really impressed me was you referred to your principal as the administrative team. And that is very important because you are a team. And that's how you're able to succeed also. So thank you. That's right. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. So just let the whole team know. Um, how proud we are of, of you and, and of them and, and we know that we're going to take the excitement and the energy of this accomplishment that, that you bring forth on behalf of the team and uh, it's going to supercharge public education and because uh, we know in looking at you and for you telling us about the team that anything and everything is, is possible so thank you on behalf of the whole board. Thank you, Master. Thank you.